In this video, we take a detailed look at a 1930s Hamden Champness lift. Now, this lift has been modernised in the late 70s or early 80s. The logic's been replaced with a relay logic, so the lift is still characterful, even though it's a logic replacement. Not as nice if it still had its original slate relay logic, but it's still in character with the lift. Although this new relay logic replacement is two speed, when the original would have been single speed but still feels much, much better than a stupid VF drive. I believe the Logic replacements and they early Leicester controls, and it's got fairly later style of relays on it. It's not the usual type you get on lifts, so it's like one of those last designs of relay Logic before moving on to digital controls. I believe this Logic was made by Leicester controls, but I'm not sure. The other things that have been altered is the lift's got a new ceiling. That's disappointing, considering that Hampton Champions put lots of decorative woodwork around the ceiling. It's like an old fashioned cupboard, where it's got those decorative pieces they put around it. Shame they covered it up with a rather not so interesting looking 70s, 80s style light. And as well as that, the buttons have been replaced. And other than those things, the rest of the lift is original. And despite a few things changed, it's pretty authentic feeling. So let's start this video off by taking a ride in it. Awful ceiling. You would have seen the original classic 30s-ness of the Hammond Chapman ceiling, but this piece of tat has been put in its place. Are we going to floor four? Yeah. Okay. And let's get on top it. The positioning system has been replaced. And when we go into motion, we'll see the positioning system is like the old fashioned relay position systems, but it's been miniaturized. We'll look at it later. But on top of the lift, it's now got shaft bars and shaft bar beam sensors, which make very loud ticks as they go past. Like it's quite a loud sounding relay in these beam sensors. That is not so original, but it's still old. It's not like some modern day boring crap. It is still old style stuff, which still makes it interesting. And from on top, we can take a look at the woodwork. And we can take a look at the woodwork of the ceiling of the lift. And it's really nice looking. It's like an old fashioned sort of cabinet or sort of woodwork. Shame it's been covered up inside a lift. Now let's surf this lift. It's got pipe track. So you've got pipe track. That's really logic. So down there, you've got, that's what it used to have originally, but they put the silly tail on the inside. Pipe track, counterweight, and chassis. Interesting. But So beam sensors with relays and built into them. Yep. One below top. And up we go to the motor room. And the motor is squeezed in between two different water tanks. It doesn't even get its own dedicated motor room. That is strange.
we can now take a look at the logic cabinet. In this late 70s, early 80s logic, not as nice as a 30 slate logic, but still nice, it's still old and interesting. And it does have an old clunky feel to it, which does keep the lift authentic, so much nicer than a VF drive. And let's take a look at the miniaturized floor selectors, like I've taken one of those big floor selectors and made it really small. It does the exact same function, it creates the circuits for the lift's position, so the lift knows how to handle calls, like if it has to go up or down to a certain call. And these things are usually big and beefy, but they've made it really small. It's an interesting design. Thank you.